Hello and welcome to a new video on the new Sparkle 5.5 release. Here I just want to show you a few new items that have appeared in Sparkle 5.5 just to show you what's been updated roughly. Uh, it doesn't include everything but it should show you a few useful new features. So here we go. First one is I want to import some PDF pages straight into a gallery. So let's put our gallery onto the page, our image gallery and we'll just make this a bit bigger because we want to read some PDF pages. We'll go to our normal edit button and here I can add PDF pages. I've got a PDF here of a brochure and I select and after a few seconds in it goes. Now you can see here that I've got uh, some different orientated pages. So I've got a portrait page and landscape pages and at the end I've got another portrait page. So this is clearly being set up for print. If I just click everything to fit and I can change the background color, that should now be seamless. So we'll go to preview it and you've got the forward and backwards buttons to show you each page of your PDF. Now sometimes that can look much nicer than it appearing directly in the browser or by forcing people to download it and then the extra step of course to open it and read it. That's quite a lovely new feature for pages in PDFs. Okay, let's go back to Sparkle. Now, whilst we're in the gallery, we've also got a new option to zoom in and use the arrows on the zoom itself in the light box. So let's do that. We'll click on our gallery. We'll click on the first page and we'll say zoom image to light box and we'll keep it unlimited. Now we'll do the same to all the other pages. Right, that's given me all the pages with the zoom. I can now preview that and I can click on the page and it will give me a full page view with the slide. So now I can see my PDF in a whole new way in a quick, clean interface and then I can just press and it goes away. So I can now have that smaller on the page if I want. I can go back to my gallery here make it small on the page and then we preview and we go into our zoomed image and we can read our PDF in a really clean environment. Really nice feature. Okay, so that's galleries. Let's get rid of that. Video has had a nice improvement and a lot of you will be very pleased to see that if we now insert a video onto our page guess what, we can have those famous or now infamous, I'll just get a video in there of course, we now have the menu down at the bottom here to have rounded corners and there we go if we now preview that you can see our video plays with rounded corners. A really nice feature which can match the rest of your design if you've used rounded corners. So that's a really nice welcome new feature for Sparkle 5.5. Okay, back into Sparkle. We've also got a nice new feature for our option selection tool. So sometimes when you've got a long list of options for people to choose from. It's quite labor intensive to type each one, add it, type a new one, add it, type a new one. Well, now you can see there's an import button here and you can import text directly from a text document or a rich text document. Now you can see here, I've got a document which has got a list of animals and I can just click on import, import options and here they all are they're done. I can now give them values if that's what my intention is. And if we preview that, you can see it's straight in. They're all there. A really nice time-saving new feature in Sparkle 5.5. We go back to Sparkle. Another new video feature is in the image video grid. Um, so before you would have to edit 
add images, videos, etc., etc., that way. And that's fine if you want to do it that way. But if you've got them readily accessible, so I've got my image video grid highlighted. I can now go to my desktop and I can select my three videos and I can drop them directly into the import menu. And you can see here, they are all there with their thumbnails. You've got all the usual styling commands below as you would normally have. That's just a quick way of dropping a lot of videos in at once if you want to do it that way. It's just a nice new feature. Lastly, there's a new feature in the Sparkle setting menu, which is the user interface language. Now at the moment it's set to system default. My operating system uses the English default, um, but I may be an international customer who has set my operating system to a certain language, but I want Sparkle in another language. Sometimes developers like to work in their own language or another language other than their operating system language. And the new feature gives us that opportunity. So let's, for example, choose German and we'll click OK, but Sparkle needs to reboot. And we'll close that. We'll quit. And we will relaunch Sparkle. And now you can see Sparkle is in German but my operating system is still in English. That's a very useful feature to have if you're working in one language, but your system is set to another language. So that's it for this Sparkle tutorial. Hope it helps and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.